Hey everybody, Audiophile Barista here. Welcome to vlog 129. In these vlogs I talk about audio, coffee and other things that keep me busy. Today is 2 degrees outside, 2 degrees Celsius here in Rotterdam. Earlier this week we had this. Hey Google, what day is it? It's Tuesday, the 28th of February, 2023. So it's still cold, but having snow in March was quite a surprise. Okay, so today I have a few things for you, so let's get into it. Okay, so we haven't been in this room for a very long time. The reason for that is that this became more of a storage room. As you can see now, it is a mess bus, but that's because I am working on it and having some little projects going on. Just wanting to give you an update on that. And for those of you who have never seen this room, there is a video about it when it was all pristine and working and stuff like that. But I have my record collection over here. I have too many loudspeakers over here. A nice rack where I can put a lot of the equipment that I'm using upstairs and downstairs. A little headphone collection. And if we turn around, it's a small room, so I have to watch my step over here. You have uh, CDs, Blu-rays. Uh, VHS there is down here a laser disc collection so there's a lot going on in here but the main thing I want to talk about to you is that first this so there is a screen over here and then we have Lin left right and center loudspeakers and again if we turn around you have the surround sound speakers also from Lin. And as you can see, there is a second screen and that is a complete other surround sound setup. So over here we have a Piega center loudspeaker. We have over here my Piega right loudspeaker. We have a Piega speaker over there and let me back up again before I had my two little surround sound speakers up there just for convenience and because this room is pretty weird I have my wall of music and videos over here but then I thought well let's have the surround sound piega loudspeakers also over there before i had them up there and the main reason for that was because i did not have speaker cable long enough to go all the way from the back to the side to the front of the room in order to have surround sounds at the back now in another project the one that is about the kef loudspeakers I'm still filming that, that's going to be interesting, but that's going to be for another video. But from that project I had a lot of loudspeaker cable left. So over here the loudspeaker cable goes all the way up there, then down, then it goes all the way back there. And then it goes to the AV receiver from Cambridge. Now, down here, there's another set of AV receiver and Blu-ray player from Marans. That one is for the LIN setup. And I forgot to tell you, this thing over here is a subwoofer. This is a subwoofer from Piega. And what I have done, I have connected both systems to one subwoofer. So the LIN setup is playing with the Piega subwoofer through the Maran set and the Piega subwoofer is also playing this Piega setup 
through the Cambridge Audio receiver and this is all working absolutely fine. Now why would you have two different setups? Well, mainly because it's possible. There's of course not really a reason, but there is a little bit of a story behind it. Now these Piega loudspeakers, these are, at least in the Netherlands, they are not very popular. When you find them, they are actually not too expensive. Piega sells these as surround sound loudspeakers for their bigger systems, but they also say you can use them for just stereo play. I did that and I gotta say for that configuration I do not really like these loudspeakers. They are a bit too bright, a bit too tinny, a bit lacking in the bass department. So I would like to sell them, but as I said, people are not willing to pay any money for this. So when I had this screen left and I had picked up this receiver, I thought, well, why not make a complete Piega setup? So I picked up the center loudspeaker and I picked up the small, tiny Piega surround sound loudspeakers. And I have to tell you, if you have a small room, now in a small room, of course, you can put big speakers like that, but that's not really convenient. These loudspeakers, as you can see, the difference are much, much smaller. But for a small room, this Piega setup, which does not work for stereo, does an absolute terrific job at being a surround sound setup. And the reason for that is because these are detail monsters. These things give you all the detail that is in the movie and now especially that i don't have the surround sound speakers up there anymore but place them at the rear you know this when you're sitting in the chair this is absolutely a treat these things give you so much detail everything that is in the soundtrack you will hear it so that's just a little plug for if you have a small room and you still want a big sound not in bass big but big in the surround sound feeling this is an absolute absolute must try especially I don't know if, how it's in your country but especially here in the Netherlands where the Piega loudspeakers are most of the time just really really inexpensive on the second-hand market okay so let's go back up again Okay, we're back up again, and of course you were waiting for the $80,000 or 80,000 euro setup, and well, here it is. So recently in another vlog, I showed you this experiment with my tube amplifier from Audion and the big Karma loudspeakers. Now the match between my tubes and the Karma loudspeakers was of course not a big success, that was expected. So when I left there I was under the impression that Karma loudspeakers just need a lot of power. Preferably, probably solid state power. But you know what, the owner of the Karma loudspeakers, a subscriber of the channel, he told me he had a friend who has a $80,000 system also featuring Karma loudspeakers and tube amplifiers if I was interested. So a week later we visited his friend and this was the perfect example of a uh, one more song before I go system and then one more. Now let me tell you about this system. This is not a big system, meaning there are not a lot of components in there. A preamp, a streamer, mono amps, loudspeakers and that's it. No DAC, no turntable, no subwoofer, no CD player, no tuner, nothing but this system is very carefully put together. So what is in this system?
what was listening to this system all about? Well, earlier this week I posted a sound clip of this system. Make sure to check it out and use some headphones when you do, because one of the many qualities of this system is bass. Low bass and complete bass control. And to demonstrate that, my wonderful host played a track from a church organ. Now this may not be your type of music, but this is one of the most difficult instruments to realistically demonstrate on a system in a living room. Most systems do not give you the full weight or the depth of this instrument, and my own setup does not even come close to what I heard here. And all this without the aid of any subwoofer. This was really one of the most convincing demonstrations of a church organ that I have ever heard in a living room setup. But it's not only about bass. Just about anything that we played was convincing. This system takes all kinds of music. So that is why I started calling it a one more song before I go system. Because that was what happened to me when I wanted to go. I thought, well, let's listen to this song. And one thing I did not tell you yet is that except for the short Karma loudspeaker cables, all cabling has been made by the owner himself. Everything is solid core silver and no, it does not sound bright. As a matter of fact, he made and sold his cables on a professional level for some time. And so we come to the end of this part of the vlog and I can only say that this was a great experience. I want to thank my wonderful host for his warm welcome and his generous invitation. And as always, if you want to comment on his system or if you have any questions, please do, but be respectful. After all, he was so generous to show all of you his private system. Now let's finish up this vlog. Okay, so we come to the end of the vlog. This was number 129. I hope you enjoyed it. Anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.